hey guys so I've been working on this application where it's basically kind of like a Trello clone um, but not really I'm gonna be doing other stuff later this is the progress on it and I kinda wanna talk about what I'm using to build this the tech stack for it and also what I'd be using if I started a new application today um, what do I pick for the back end front end and kind of all the layers now of course you wanna pick you know the right tools for the right job but this is just basic you know fits a lot of applications. This is what I use for most things. Um, so right here I have the readme for the project and in it I have the stack that I'm currently using. So the stack is here. On the front end, the UI, all of that is done with React.js. And then all the other stuff that, you know, that happens in the back, all the functionality of the site is done um, in Express. And to help things out, I use something called GraphQL, which is not necessary. Um, you can make it without GraphQL, but it, in my opinion, is very helpful and can expedite coding and improve performance and lots of good things that I really enjoy. And then using PostgreSQL as the database. Now, in this video, I kind of want to talk about what I, why I picked each one of these. And then if I didn't pick these, what I would use instead and why I'd pick something else. So for the front end, um, I'm currently using React. Now, why I picked React is basically that's the first one I learned and I like it a lot. Like, one, it's really popular. I'm really enjoying using it. I really like coding in it. So I'm super productive in it because I'm enjoying myself and I want to code in it more. And the code is super fast. The applications are super performant when I'm creating it. I've had a good experience using it, so I want to continue using it because I'm happy to switch if it's something's not working. So the, all these pieces are working really well for me right now. So that's why they're here. If they weren't working really well for me, I'd switch them out. I'm not afraid to switch stuff out, and um, I don't like just using something that doesn't work. I definitely won't do that. So if I wasn't using React, though, um, the next thing I would look at was Reason, and this is kind of basically React, because um, with Reason you can do React, and this is, if you haven't heard of it, it's kind of like a uh, OCaml-like language, and you can do React with it. So I would check out that, and then I would check out Elm. These two guys is what I would check out next if I didn't do React. They just seem really interesting to me. What you'll notice is I pick languages that are fun, and also work well. So I enjoy programming, I wanna enjoy the language I'm using. So if I don't like the language, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I know a lot of people crap on JavaScript, but I actually like um, ES6, the features um, that come with that, so that's enjoyable. And what's nice about JavaScript is you can code stuff really fast. Um, but again, there's lots of problems with JavaScript, of course. Um, but I like to enjoy the language, so I'm enjoying reusing React right now. And Elm looks really fun to play with and code with, so I would check this out uh, if I wasn't doing React. But really enjoying React right now, so sticking with that. Now, we'll skip this, because I'll come to this at the end. Database, I really wanted to use a SQL database. Um, I want a relation, relational database. Um, basically, the two other options I see are graph databases, and um, NoSQL databases. Graph databases, I mean, I haven't actually ever tried one, but I figured you'd really, the reason you'd use a graph database is if you want to represent your data as a graph. If you want to represent your data some like something else, it doesn't make sense to use a graph. Um, and I don't think all, I think that's a very specific subdomain of uh, databases that is not general and you'd have a specific you know, maybe a specific niche website you'd use that with. Um, but the other option is NoSQL, but I actually haven't spent a ton of time with NoSQL. I fiddle around with MongoDB a little bit, but that's about it. Um, I've mostly used SQL all the time, and I really like PostgreSQL. It just seems to be working the best for me, um, and it seems to be the most performant, has the most features, um, and it works really well. I'm very happy with how Postgres has been performing so very happy with that but if I wasn't using PostgreSQL I'd probably check out MongoDB 
um, would probably be my second thing to check out. But I'm really happy with Postgres. I don't know what other SQL I'd use. I don't think I'd use MySQL. It doesn't seem that good. Um, I don't think I'd use a Microsoft server. I know that I forget what they called, but I know they have a SQL version. I don't know what it's called though. Um, but I wouldn't use that probably. Um, just I haven't heard good things about. It. I've just heard tons of good things about Postgres. That's why I picked it in the first place, and it's working really well for me. So. I wouldn't want to switch it out right now. Really enjoying it. I like using relational databases. Um, they seem to work really well, really perform it. So, so far with everything that I'm building, I've enjoyed that. So that's why I'm using that right now. Um, and then this part, this part's interesting because it's really a package um, because the server I'm using is Express, but I'm really only using Express because I want to use GraphQL. So first, I want to talk about why I'm using GraphQL, and that's just because there's so many great things about it. I actually don't want to talk a ton about why GraphQL is so great, because there's lots of other videos about that. Um, but once you make the decision that you want GraphQL, um, I think it makes a lot of sense to use Express, because the libraries that are GraphQL libraries, a lot of them are in JavaScript. So it makes sense to pair it with an Express server because it's super easy and fast to get something set up. I'm using Apollo Data. Uh, with, they're the, I don't know if they're considered a company. I think Meteor is the company behind it. Um, but Apollo Data makes a server that I use with it that's very, very nice. Really enjoy it. It makes it super fast to set stuff up. So I really enjoy that. So that's why I'm using Express. I wouldn't use Express if I wasn't using GraphQL. I want to check out Phoenix. Um, this is an Elixir backend server. I would probably be using this. I would definitely try it out and see how good it is because I haven't spent, a, I've actually tried it a little bit, but I haven't done too much. Um, oh. So I would definitely check out that. And what, something I have used that I have enjoyed is Django. Very nice framework to use. I haven't ever tried Ruby on Rails. I uh, don't know Ruby, but I have tried Django, enjoyed that, would use that. Would you try out Elixir and Phoenix? But if I'm using GraphQL, I'm picking Express. It's so simple, super, it's just so nice to set a server up and it's so fast. Like I spend like no time on the back end. I feel like the majority of my time is on the front end. Um, and that's a nice place to be when you can just set stuff up in the back end really fast. And that's what it feels like with GraphQL and Express. It's just really nice. I spend very little time working with the framework. So really enjoying that so far. And that's the stack I'm using. That's the stack that's going to be used to build this Trello clone here. Um, and what I'd be using if I was to build a production web app today. And I'm actually using the stack for a, a web app that I'm building right now. Um, so more news about that when that comes out later. But this is what I would be using and am using and I'm really enjoying it. I recommend you guys checking this out. But honestly, use what works for you. And if something's not working, switch it out. That's my recommendation. That's what I like to do. Just tinker with stuff, fine tune the process that you like. Um, and I think a lot of this is very personal too, what you enjoy doing, what you enjoy using at each level of the stack. Some people might not enjoy using GraphQL and that's okay. I think it's fine to use something else. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're gonna dig down a bit more into the software architecture uh, of this application. So I'll see you guys then.